Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead and welcome to my channel. I am going to be showing you how to make an apron. It's a super easy, it's this cute little apron that I'm wearing right now. And I am going to be showing you how to make this right from the beginning, right from making the pattern yourself. This is going to be very easy. I am trying to keep it as simple as possible, not just for the tutorial, but also if you're a beginner sewer, uh, this may not be intimidating at all and you'll feel like you can make yourself a cute little egg. To begin with, you're going to need a yard of your main fabric and a half yard of coordinating fabric for the straps and for your pockets. You will have fabric left over because I am just kind of trying to do this um, myself. I didn't have any pattern to say, you know, you need three quarters of a yard or two thirds of a yard. But I figured the leftover fabric I plan to use to make some potholders so that would coordinate with the apron and, and, uh, and look kind of cute too. To make the apron, you're going to need a large sheet of paper. I'm going to show you what I'm using. I got a whole bunch of paper that was all wadded up in as packaging from something that I ordered, and I just saved it. If you don't have that, you could also use some newspaper. If you open it up, it's certainly wide enough. You may need to tape two pieces together so that you have the length that you need. And you could also use wrapping paper. So this is just some birthday-ish wrapping paper I have. People usually have a stash of Christmas paper or something like that. That will work perfectly well too. As I'm on the other side of this now, as I'm filming this, I've already made my apron uh, and I've been editing it. I decided there's a lot to cover and it's going to be done in two videos. So this first video, I'm going to show you how to make the pattern and cut it out your pieces. In the second video, I'm going to show you how to assemble and put it all together. So you'll have to wait. Usually I try to get my videos out every four days, so you'll have to wait for the second one. Uh, in the meantime, if it's something that looks like, hey, I can do this and you want to try it, it gives you time to go get your fabric. I'm going to bring you over to the table and show you what you need to do to get your pattern made. Because my paper is pretty wrinkled, I am going to start by ironing it out to get it nice and smooth. And you can do that with most any paper just on a low setting on your iron. Uh, I don't have an ironing board anymore. I got rid of mine and so now I just use a towel on my table and it seems to work just fine. I am going to mark this at 16 inches across. and 28 inches down. And from this mark at 28 inches, we're gonna go back across to 16 inches. Now you'll need a ruler or a yardstick or a sewing ruler. I have a sewing ruler someplace, but it's one of those things I cannot find. So I am just using something I found in my husband's shop. So from this corner, this edge over here to your 16 inch edge, you're going to draw a line. From this 16 inch mark to the one at the bottom of your paper, we're going to draw another line. And we're going to draw across the bottom. So, as you can see, what I have basically is drawn out is just a rectangle. Now it's time to cut this out. OK, 
Okay, there we go. There's my rectangle. At the top of this rectangle, we're going to measure over six inches and mark it with just a little dot. All right, and then we're going to, on the right side facing you, we're going to come down 12 inches and we're going to mark that. Now you're going to lay your ruler from this mark to this mark and draw a line. And take your scissors and cut on that line. Basically now your pattern is done and you have half of an apron that gets laid on the fold of your fabric. So now we're going to take this pattern and I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this out. And you do not need a pattern for your ties or your pocket. That's pretty going to be pretty simple. All right, let's get going on this. I'm going to let this picture here pause for just a few seconds so that you can take a screenshot of it so you have the measurements down. To begin with, you're going to want to iron out your fabric to get any of the wrinkles out, and then you're going to fold it in half with your salvage edges together. And then iron that so that you can iron in the crease on your fold. Once you have that done, you're going to lay out your pattern. The long end goes right up against the fold. And then you can start to pin it in place so it doesn't shift around while you're trying to cut it. Now it's time to cut out the apron. Remove all the pins and the main body of your apron is now completely cut out. At this point, we're going to start cutting out the straps and the pocket. So iron that fabric and just like before, fold it so the salvage edges are together and iron the, the fold. I trimmed the edge to make sure that my edge fabric was straight and not frayed with the end pieces of the fabric. Now we're going to count three inches and cut a strip. You're going to need three three inch strips. If you're a really tiny person, you might be able to get by with two. Now we're going to cut an eight inch piece. This is going to be for the part pocket. So we're going to count down eight inches and cut that. Now open up the pocket piece, lay your ruler and cut right on the fold. Lay your fabric right sides together And on the salvage edge, we're going to trim four inches off of this. All right, you guys, thank you for watching part one. And in a few days, part two will be out. If you're watching this after I have already published that, I will have a link below to part two. So you can just go right to that. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.